with that tidied up a little bit. Next step is to uh, basically cut out all of the little extra bits and pieces from around here. So I'm going to do a similar thing to what I did before. Now you have to be very careful around the, uh, the badge type area where they're pimping their product. Uh, you don't want to actually cut across it and scratch it, so you have to make sure you're right and hard against the edge. And if you're lucky, you can just feel with the blade. And what you actually end up doing is cutting between the keyboard and the edge of the product name badge as well. So, hopefully, if you're lucky, this is, this is the bit where you can really screw up how it looks. So just take your time and make sure you just cut around those edges. So what we need to do here is we need to make sure the button's pressed down hard and that we get the knife in right on the edge of that recess. So probably not the easiest thing to see, but if you can make sure that that button is kept pressed down through the entire cut, you should hopefully end up with no problem whatsoever. Just follow it around because occasionally you do miss little bits once you think you've got it. Just peel it off. Button number one. Give it a bit of a test to make sure that it doesn't stick and try to press as much of that stuff down into the cavity as possible. You want to make sure that that button does not stick though. Now these little round ones are kind of tricky. They're like the problem that we had before with uh, one of the little badge areas. This one here, uh, we have to make sure that because the button is convex, there's no hard defined edge. So this one's going to require a bit of guesswork. You want to make sure you don't cut the button because any cuts on the buttons will show up as the buttons are actually painted, so painted on the outside. So again, just keep it pressed down and try to feel around for where the hole begins. this stage you're probably quite tempted to just try to rush it, but take your time. If you take your time, it'll come out really good. Now that we've got the film down nice and smooth, it's time for us to put on the top cover. So we take the top cover, keeping the LCD screen, LCD screen open, just pop that cable back into place. Now this will probably be one of the more tricky parts of this mod. If you're uh, anything like me and have gigantic clumsy fingers, uh, so you're going to need to take a little bit of time to do this. But if you get lucky, well, I'm proud of you. So basically what we do is we unclip that little black clip again, and we just go to reinsert that ribbon cable. Press it right in. Once you've got it in, just make sure it's totally level. You put your fingers in and press down on that black clip again. And that should hold it in position. <laughs> Looks like I got lucky. Then we carefully just remount everything on top. You can fold that screen down again now. Basically connect it up from the back to the front. It'll all just click into place nicely. If you haven't left too much loose stuff around the edges, like that, we're good. We reattach the screws. Of course, keep them in that nice container before.
next step, once we've got that done, is to reattach the keys, which of course you can see I've knocked all out of place over there. Luckily I have another G15 keyboard right next to me, which you can't see, but I know where all the keys go, so we'll go with that. Now with these, um, when you're reattaching the keys with the double-ended ones, we've got these little wee little bars, little wire clips, uh, which we re have to reattach the keys to. It just allows them to uh, go down smoothly. Now there's two little prongs on the end of the key there, two little clips. What we do is we get the key the right way up for a start, then we put it down onto those clips. You have to move those clips down to about a 35, 40 degree angle. Attach the clips on there, they just slide in really easily. Requires a little bit of wiggling to line the little square post hole up with the post, with the clip, and then press it down like that. Got our key back. Yeah, <laughs> suffering your jobs. <laughs>